Hey everyone, welcome back to Pretty Well. Dr. Angela here with you. We're gonna talk about gratitude practices and the association with better health outcomes. I think most of us know intuitively that when we're in a state of appreciation, we tend to feel more positive, we tend to feel happier. But there are actually quite a few studies that have been done over the years that do prove we have better health outcomes when we focus on gratitude regularly. And this is the key, you know, there's many things that we can do that are good for us, but if we do them just once or here and there, spotty occasionally, they don't tend to help us long-term with our health. So figuring out which of the gratitude practices resonates the most for us, how we can regularly give thanks and appreciation and keep our attention on all of the wonderful blessings in life will really help us with improved health outcomes. It can be challenging sometimes because life is complicated, you know, and although there are constantly things for all of us to be thankful for, there's also the barrage of many difficult things and challenges. But we do have research that if we choose to keep our attention and our focus on the things that are going well, we will actually be happier and have better health outcomes. There's some studies that they've done um, on individuals who have had coronary artery syndrome issues, so basically heart vessel health problems. And those individuals who are specifically grateful for their life and their bodies had improved health outcomes. And it actually makes a lot of sense. What they found was that those individuals um, had a better attitude, more positive attitude. But in addition, that they were then um, able to be more responsible with following through on the health practices that were gonna be associated with improved outcomes. They exercised more regularly, they made the diet modifications, they made the stress reduction modifications, they took medications that their docs told them would help with their condition um, in comparison with those who did not do regular gratitude practices. And so um, again, there's a whole range of things that we can choose to do. There's a lot of research behind specifically writing gratitude practices down. So it could be things like taking a few minutes daily, either in the morning, in the evening, whatever time suits you best, to write down, take a few moments to write down things that you are grateful for, that you've noticed have gone well and you're thankful for in the given day. Um, there are a lot of studies that have focused on writing letters of appreciation to people who have done wonderful things for us and maybe we felt that we couldn't properly thank them at the time and so writing that letter and delivering the letter to the person who helped us, that that actually improves our wellness, our sense of well-being, that it actually um, leads to long-term changes in the brain, the prefrontal cortex. We start to have changes where if we engage in regular gratitude writing practices, we have changes that help us have a more positive attitude on a daily basis, a more appreciative attitude, um, and that we're also more sensitive to what's going well in life, that our attention remains a little bit more focused on the positive things versus chronic patterns of worrying or keeping our attention on negative things or what could go wrong. So really having a more positive outlook in life. So short daily journal writing practices, expressing gratitude. There are studies that have focused on even writing a few sentences once a week of what went well during the week, what we're appreciative of, what we're thankful for, having positive health outcomes. Definitely the thank you letter writing in adults and delivering that to the individual who helped us. Um, really wonderful positive health associations with that. So lowering anxiety, lowering depression, improving our mood, improving our just general sense of well-being. And then if we take this a step further, it also helps us with our ability to connect with other people in our lives. So, you know, we um, 
have a very direct benefit personally by writing things down that we are grateful for, even putting mental attention on those things. Like if you meditate daily and then take a few moments mentally to think about the things that you're appreciative of, but there is even stronger um, data showing us that the written um, gratitude practices really help us that much more. So those things we can all experience personally, but then also we have studies of when we show appreciation verbally to our coworkers, to people who work for us, um, to people we're in relationship with, that those relationships all go better, that in a work environment, people are motivated to work harder. So these things all make sense to us, I think, if we think about them, but it's so like fascinating and amazing that we actually have the research to prove it. So I will put some links in the description box for some of you guys who would like to read some of these studies that have been done, and there are so many more out there. So have fun, you know, fiddling around, pulling up some of the research if you wanna see more, but my intention here is just to call our attention to the fact that gratitude is indeed good medicine for our bodies um, and to encourage us to think about how we integrate this into our own health routines regularly and to choose which things best resonate for us because there's a lot of different ways that we can practice gratitude so i'll write things out again in the description box for you guys i personally love to have colorful journals around. Um, here's one of mine currently. I always have a journal on my nightstand. Um, I use it for multiple things. I will um, often write down dreams that occur to me, thoughts that I'm processing, but definitely also as a space to write down things that I am grateful for. So I am going to spend just a couple moments telling you guys what I'm grateful for right now, things that just popped into my mind. And I would also love to encourage you to share, well, take a moment to do your own inventory of what you're grateful for, write some of those things down, think about when you might include and incorporate regular gratitude practices in your life. And if you feel comfortable, please share some things that you're grateful for here with us in the community as a way of encouraging each other to keep attention on the bright stuff. Because a lot of times, you know, we share blessings, like, right? Many of us have multiple similarities in our lives of things that are going well, but it doesn't occur to us to be thankful for those things. And so maybe if we see other people's gratitude lists, it'll jog us to also be grateful for some of those things that we might also have and experience in our own lives. So some of the things that um, easily kind of percolated in for me as I was thinking about making this video share for you guys, I am definitely very grateful for all of my family and my friends. I'm very grateful for all of the teachers I have had and continue to have in my life who teach me wonderful information that I have then been able to share with you guys here in the community, with my patients in practice, with my loved ones in my family. I'm really grateful for the way that I'm very clear that beauty is very spirit lifting for me. So if I'm having a bad day, I know for myself that going outside and finding flowers and finding plants, finding bright colors is very mood lifting for me. And so I'm so grateful that those tools are helpful for me and I'm grateful that I know that that's a way to help myself out if I'm ever having a stressful day or a hard time. I'm really grateful to be alive and have the life that I have. And I'm grateful to also know that having that gratitude um, and reminding myself to spend time on that specific gratitude will help me take even better care of my body by taking my good supplements, staying on my good diet, getting regular sleep, getting regular exercise, connecting with my loved ones, doing all the health practices that I know are really good for me. So those are some of the things I'm grateful for. Again, encouraging you guys, if you feel comfortable to share here with us some of the things you're grateful for and have an active conversation around these things, Think about how you want to integrate gratitude into your lives. I was really relieved to read the study that even if you do it once a week, there's actually um, data gathered that has a significant impact in terms of our 
happiness and our health outcomes. So, you know, sometimes we're busy and we don't get to do everything every day that's good for us, but every little bit counts and trying to be as regular as we can be really does matter. Keep the questions coming in terms of anything else you want to learn from Dr. Patty and myself, and we do our best to address that content. We have a running list going. Um, we definitely think about the seasons and what's pertinent, but we also think about all the things you guys are asking about. So please keep chiming in with your questions, um, loving all of the wonderful comments and the ways that some of you guys help answer the questions of other individuals in the community. Thank you so much for being here with us. Happy Thanksgiving. See you back here soon. Take care, everyone.